Hello again. Yes, like the fearsome Scott Macbeth, we are back from the dead to fight another day. Sorry? Doesn't he? Well, then what happens in the sequel? <laughs> yes, there is. Oh, well, that's a ridiculous waste of a potentially lucrative... Fine, 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 fine. Let's meet the teams. On my right, Frank Little, a semi-retired computer programmer who enjoys orchestral music and once played postal chess against Boris Karloff's brother. David Collison, an IT specialist who enjoys Sudoku puzzles and some light recreational mathematics. And their captain, Harriet Courtney, a retired data analyst with a BSc in Earth Sciences who has lived as a Viking, a Saxon and a Roman. United by a fondness for forums, they are the networkers. What are your team's strengths? What are your best subjects? We've all got different strengths, I think, hopefully. Let's find out. Different strengths are very much what you need for this quiz. We'll see. Your opponents tonight are, on my left, Michael Cannon, a French and history graduate who hosted Angela Lansbury's 90th birthday party, which was not attended by Angela Lansbury. He is the cousin of Emma Reeves, a writer and English graduate with an MA in creative writing from the University of East Anglia, who is the cousin of their captain, David Whitley, an author and classically trained bass baritone who can recite the opening of the Canterbury Tales in 14th century English. United by DNA, they are the cousins. David, what are your team's strengths? Well, we think we're doing all right on, on music. We've got different eras covered over here, but uh, otherwise, I guess we'll find out as the questions go. <laughs> well, you're good at tossing coins. You've won the toss, so you'll be going first. This is round one. I simply want to know what is the connection between four apparently random clues. Please choose an Egyptian hieroglyph. Uh, Eye of Horus, please. The Eye of Horus. What is the connection between these clues? Here's the first. Duck. Something. Next. House. So sitting, sitting duck, sitting house. Well, that might be. Find it. Oh, I, I, I think maybe one, one more, shall we? Yes. Uh, next. Builder. Um, cow, cowboy builder. No, cowboy duck. Oh, yes, um, bomb the. Uh, no, uh, 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 shall we have? Uh, yeah, 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 one. Yeah. Uh, next. Gabler. Head a duck? What? Oh. Three seconds. Ibsen. Ibsen. Uh, <laughs> yeah. They, um, they are... They're all plays by in Ibsen. The last word the, of the head title. Of, yeah, of the, 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 last, the last word of, of, <laughs> of the title of a play by Ibsen. They're all the last words in the titles of Ibsen plays. Yes, not Gabler. Builder might throw you in that direction, but Garbler, Hedda Garbler. What are the other plays? Um, Doll. So, yes, yeah, so there's yeah. a doll's, doll's, doll's house. house. Uh, the Master Builder. Yeah. Mm -hmm. that? yeah. And Hedda Garbler. A duck? I wild don't... duck. Wild... It is the Wild Duck. Yeah. A play about some people that find a duck, sometimes staged with a live duck. <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> I often recommend that this show be staged with a live duck. <laughs> Nobody <laughs> listens to me. Well done for the point. Networkers, your chance to choose. Horned Viper, please. The Horned Viper. These are going to be picture clues. Something oh, connects yeah. them. What is it? Okay. Here's the first one. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to do that. Oh. I'm afraid you have buzzed. I must ask for an oh, answer. So how about I'm sorry. About I was weathering? trying to say how... next and my fingers went wrong. How about something about weather in case it's a lightning bolt and it's uh, yes. maybe something like that? OK, weather. It is not <laughs> the weather. So I'm going to throw it over to the other team for a possible bonus. I'll show you the other clues, but I can't give you long to consult. No. Uh, so that's... Uh, Oh, blimey. Do you have an answer? Uh, I, I, I don't think we do, do we? No. It is unprecedented, I think, to throw it over after one clue, so uh, you, you would want longer than you've got. What an unfortunate piece of luck. Now, we're looking at the sprinter Johan Blake, nicknamed The Beast, as was Alistair Crowley, who features at clue two, the American presidential car, also called The Beast. And who's in that last picture? Is it Mark Labatt, is it? Yes, it is, uh, yes, from The Chase. Uh, erstwhile of Only Connect as well, of course. <laughs> known as The Beast. They are all known as The Beast. Unlucky there, Harriet. No bonus point for you then, cousins, but you may choose a question. Uh, twisted Flax, please. The Twisted Flax. What connect to these clues? 
Here's the first. Bowers. No. Okay, so uh, next. Edgar Evans. Uh, ooh. No. I don't know, I'm afraid. Oh, God, you're just playing. You're Jim Dre, yes, next one. Next. Uh, uh, yes, probably. Uh, next, please. So it's boats. Oh, it's, it's, is he a box? No. Um, um, oh, this is not going. Um, um, yes. Edward, Edward. Are, they, are, they, are they all sort of second people who went in polar expeditions? Try it. Three yes. seconds. Um, are they all second in commands of polar expeditions? They are not uh, seconds in command of Polar Expeditions, so a bonus chance for you now, networkers. They're all members of Scott Silfate's ex expedition. That's right. In a way, they all came second in an expedition uh, with Captain specific. Scott. <laughs> yes, that ill-fated trip to the Antarctic where they got to the South Pole to discover that Amundsen had beaten them to it, and they died in various grisly ways. So you get the bonus point. Very well done, and please choose a question. Lion, please. A lion question. OK, careful on that buzzer. Your first clue <laughs> is coming in now. OK, okay. next. Okay. Next. Yes. Yeah. Oh. something about the letters as opposed to the words. Yeah. What is Eki Bird, sir? Next. Soldiers. Soldiers. Okay, so things that might all be called soldiers. Could be, yes. Okay. <laughs> Give it a go. No, they're not all called soldiers, no. <laughs> What's your answer? <laughs> oh, I'm... <laughs> well, go for soldiers, yes. I can't think of anything else. I'm afraid that's not it. So there's a bonus chance for you, cousins. Uh, another name for them all is French something. That's right, and I heard you muttering it at Clue 2, but you veered away. A cafetiere, a French press, it's also known as that. The condom, of course, the French letter. What is eggy bread? Uh, French, French toast. toast. It's French toast, and chips are French fries. Although the Belgians claim that they invented them, actually, so <laughs> they should be known as Belgian fries, but not for the purposes of this question. So, well done, cousins. You get the bonus and the choice of question. Uh, two reads, please. Two reads. It's the music question. We've heard your musical confidence. Let's see if it's uh, rightly placed. Well placed. <laughs> You'll be hearing the clues, and the first one is coming in now. Ten years ago, on a cold, dark night, oh, I say, um, there was next. came by with a lock uh, of your hair. Uh, 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 she uh, said uh, that you... <laughs> With no song, no, 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 no. this is not our area, is it? Should we have the last one? Just to say? Uh, next, she was afraid to come out of the she was Yes, she was so good. Yeah. 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 No. Uh, three, three seconds. Uh, yeah. um, uh, uh, we're going for dots. Not uh, the answer, I'm afraid. So, network has another bonus chance. Do yeah. we go for yellow? That's not it either. It, you've all recognised itsy bitsy <laughs> yellow <laughs> dot <laughs> bikini, but you've gone too specific. You also heard the country ballad performed here by the Chieftain's Long Black Veil. There was famous blue raincoat, that's a Leonard Cohen number, and the red shoes, it's all just generally coloured clothing. Coloured pieces of clothing was the connection. All right, networkers, what would you like? Let's be honest, it doesn't matter what you'd like, you're getting water. <laughs> we only have water left, but as well have water, please. It's often like that when I'm hosting anything at dinner. What would you like? Never mind, you're getting water. <laughs> what connects these clues? Here's the first. Next. Uh, next. No, Harry Potter's not in Morocco. Victor Laszlo's in, in Casablanca. I need an answer. I can't give you one. 
Okay. Cousins, do you know? Uh, we think possibly dead fathers. Dead parents? Uh, or taking vengeance upon someone. <laughs> I <laughs> can't <laughs> take that. That is key to the first and third clues. Uh, but Victor Laszlo, I think if his father's dead, it's just yeah, he's like the yeah. older character. It's not actually part of the <laughs> yeah, story yeah, yeah. of Casablanca where he appears. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, Inigo Montoya, his father does die. He's from the Princess Bride. Yeah. And he's a, a fencer. Uh -huh. And the father is killed by a man who spares the child but marks his cheek oh, with a sword. A <laughs> Victor Laszlo has a scar. Harry Potter, of course, yeah. the scar child. And Tony Montana is Scarface uh -huh. in the Al Pacino movie. Scarred faces was the grisly link there. That means at the end of round one, the networkers have one point. The cousins have two. <laughs> Luckily for our teams, more points are available <laughs> in round two. This is the sequences round, where there are still four connected clues, but the fourth one is hidden. I want the teams to tell me what it is. They must work out the sequence and tell me what comes forth. Cousins, your turn to choose again. OK, uh, we'll go for water, please. Water. What would come forth in this sequence? Here's the first. Uh, call me 2010. OK, next. Something every two years. Yeah. Uh, uh, better say yeah. next. Yeah. Next. Tom Watson. Oh, is he a um, golfer? Oh. Did they all win? Uh, I don't know. Did they lead the right yes. company? Yeah. So, what's, did they so what's that many guys' that name this year? This year. Two seconds. Yes, so not right, but 2016 Tiger Woods. <laughs> not the answer, I'm afraid. Networkers, do you want to have a go? 2016. 2016 Fred Couples. Not it, I'm afraid. Why do you say Tiger Woods? What do you think the sequence is? We think they might be people who won a golf tournament in every other year, but that's about as far as we got. The Ryder Cup. Yes. Uh, they are captains, American captains yeah. of the Ryder Cup, and the 2016 tournament, not uh, played yet, was due to be played in uh, October this year. Davis Love the uh, Third. Networkers, what would you like? Eye of Horus, please. The Eye of Horus. What would come forth in this sequence? Here's the first. Next. I think they've all had remakes. Remakes, yes. Yeah. There have been remakes yeah. with yeah. with who? Should we see the third one? Make one. Yes. Next, please. Because we have to give the fourth. Yes. Music. Shop around the corner became evil male. Yeah. I don't know. Three seconds. You got mail. Is the right answer. <laughs> oh. You weren't expecting that, were you? No. Do you know what's going on? What's the sequence? Oh, uh, the remakes. The well, they're remakes of themselves. Yes. Now, the original doesn't feature in the sequence. The original is a play from 1936, a Hungarian play called Parfumerie. And The Shop Around the Corner is a film that was made of that play. Subsequently, the film in the good old summertime, then She Loves Me, and then You've Got Mail was a film of that same story. So very well found in the <laughs> lateral corners of your mind. <laughs> Back to you, cousins, for a question. Okay. Uh, the two reads, please. Two reads. OK. These are going to be picture clues. What sort of thing would you expect to see in the fourth picture? Here's the first. Yes. Uh, oh. Uh, yeah. And next, please. The Tolk Tolk Tolk. Yeah, it could be the Euro Tunnel Dover. Yeah, and that's it. Uh, next, please. Uh, a till, a till. Uh, so we've got toll. Hang on, toll till. So a, a, a tell, like William Tell, because this might be toll, Jeffrey Tell. So it's toll, toll. So, so, so tell. Um, William Tell is exactly the example we went for. Here is a photograph of a William Tell statue in Switzerland. What is the sequence? Well, uh, we, we worked out that the one before it was a till, and mm. the before that was a, a toll, so we're assuming the first one is the band Jethro Tull. It is the band <laughs> Jethro Tull. So we're going backwards through the vowels yeah. of the alphabet sequentially. Tull, toll, till, till. Very well done. Back to you networkers for a choice. Twisted flax, please. The twisted flax. Oh, no. <laughs> well, it's a music sequence. How lovely. 
What sort of thing would you expect to hear in fourth place? Let's have the first one. Baby, What, Lovely Day? Lovely Day. Anything, some song with day in it. I'd like to hear a specific one. Um, lovely Day, Bill with us. I'm glad yeah, you've chosen that one. Yeah. It is an acceptable answer. You may have two points. We would have played I Wish It Could Be Christmas Every Day. But you've chosen Lovely Day by Bill Withers. Do you know that song? Y yes. Oh, good. Let's give it our best shot. <laughs> one, two, three. A lovely day. <laughs> lovely day. Lovely day. Lovely day. The viewers at home will think we've played it in yeah. over the sound system. So melodic was that. That was indeed a lovely day. Thank you very much and well done for two points. Cousins, back to you for a choice. Uh, the lion, please. The lion. OK, what would come forth in this sequence? Here's the first. Uh, South oh. Planet. Oh, that's... Wasn't that where... Um, Nigel Farage? Yes, Nigel Farage. Oh, well. Maybe, maybe it could be 20. Yeah, we need another one to get the timing yeah. differential. So, um, next, please. Oh, UKIP um, seats. So, UKIP, UKIP seats. Well, was it, was it South Planet again? In um, Clacton won a UKIP seat in oh. 2015, but it, uh, it, we could go... Shall we go 2008 Clacton? Yeah, because... Oh, no, or 2008. <laughs> OK, great, again. Yeah. Shall we go yeah. for that? Yeah. yeah. 2008 South Thanet. I'm afraid that is not the right answer. So we're going to show the third in the sequence to the networkers for a possible yeah. bonus point. 2015 Rochester. That's not it. Now, if you could get together and form a team of six, <laughs> you'd have the right answer, which is 2015 South Thanet. So these are seats contested by Nigel Farage, all unsuccessfully, but for UKIP. And after 2010 in Buckingham, the next one was 2015 South Thanet. He stood again in the seat he tried for in 2005. So no bonus point for you networkers, but you may have the Horned Viper question. What would come forth in this sequence? Here's the first. Next. Ball games, yes. Six. Oh, that's that ball, that ball is six. Oh, right. Baseball's not on that ball. Yeah, it's open up, you're doing that one. Seven. Yeah. I think the team is seven, so that's fine, fine. The ball game is six people in the team. Is that oh, that ball? Do you have six? How many do you have six in? Is that six in that ball? I don't know. I'm happy if you think there are. I'm going to take one to ten seconds now. So, should we go for net six? Yes, we'll go for net six. I'm afraid that's not the right answer. So, I'm going to show the third in a sequence to the cousins. Uh -huh. For a possible bonus point. Oh, is basket basket it's, six. Um, basket six? I'm afraid uh. not. Now, you correctly identify that you want to add ball to all the words, baseball, corf ball, netball, and we're looking for the number of players on the team. There's seven on a netball team. We want something where there are six players. So volley is the example we gave. Volleyball, six players. That means at the end of round two, the cousins have four points, the networkers have five. Time now for the connecting wall. 16 clues jumbled up that the teams have to sort into four connected groups of four. You'll be going first this time, networkers, so please choose lion or water. Water, please. OK, you have two and a half minutes to solve the wall to wall, starting now. Drop the types of Rolls Royce potentially. Silver Ghost and Cornish. Maybe a Wraith as a fifth, I'm not sure. So a Silver Ghost. Yeah, Phantom Cornish and Wraith. Okay, so we've left out Kamar. We've left out Kamar, okay. We've left out Cornish. So we leave out Wraith or Phantom. Okay, so do Kamar, Cornish and Silver Ghost. Okay, let's, let's try, let's try some... We've also got Spectre Phantom Shade. No, so there must be another ghost so somewhere. Fine. Race is a ghost. Yes. Um, 
No. I thought I've done them all now. Oh okay. my god. Should we have another try at the, yeah, the, the Rolls Royce? So yeah. we leave that race to start with the Phantom, yeah. Canard, Cornish, yeah. and Silver Ghost. Yeah, I think we've done that, yeah. Then I'm going to leave out Phantom. Yeah. There we go. Okay, oh, we've right. got them. Aspects of that. Oh. Yeah, so it's the musicals here. Somewhere. Yes, Aspects, Phantom, Starlight, and. I, I think it may be no. the last no. words of musicals yes. or the first words. So, so we've got. So we've got Jesus Christ Superstar, right. we've got Phantom. So, yeah, so we have, yeah. Aspects, Phantom. Aspects. And a bit of the first words at this starlight. Three strikes and you're out now. Ah, right, right, okay. okay. So now we've got. So it's one of these about films. Well, Revenant is that new film with. As, so we've got Spectre, 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 Shade, and. Oh, Revenant, that would be a. That oh, would be another ghost. Trouble. That's another ghost. Yes, Trouble, Spook. Neuron, Spook. So we've got Boulevard, Franco, Neuron. Yes, we've got. Uh, what's the other one? So don't, don't do all four of no, them. No, we're Okay, we're running out of time. Yes, we've got Revenant. You've got 15 seconds. Spectre, Spectre, Shade and possibly Spook. Can we work out what these other ones are? Probably now. I think we're almost out. That's it. You've solved the ball with just a few seconds to spare. Well done. And what about points for the connections? Wraith, Camargue, Corniche, Silver Ghost. Rolls Royce models. They're models of Rolls Royce. The Green Group, Aspects, Superstar, Phantom, Starlight. Uh, Andrew Lloyd Webber musicals. That's right, they feature in the titles of Andrew Lloyd Webber musicals. The next group, Spook, Shade, Spectre, Revenant. Um, ghosts of some kind. Word. Types of ghosts. Yes. And the last group, Trouble, Franco, Neuron, Boulevard. Right. Has yeah, anybody got any idea right. about the last Either one? Either something like General or Sunset, maybe, or Franco. Yeah. I'm afraid no, I can't no. let you debate. No, no, no. You're not seeing it. Not this seeing is it, no. a word one. Oh. Contained within the word trouble oh. is ruble. Yes, so In it Franco is. is frank, in neuron is euro, and the tricky one in Boulevard, lev, the Bulgarian yes. currency. Yes. There are currencies hidden inside all those words. Oh. But you get four points for the groups and three for the connections. That's a total of seven. Let's bring back the cousins now and give them a new connecting wall, 16 fresh clues, see what they can do about sorting it out. You'll be getting the lion wall, the water's been taken. You have two and a half minutes to solve it, starting now. So, Heritage Amusement Park, uh, uh, Safari Park, Park. Park. Yes. Park. Oh, oh, yeah, that's good. Um, no, not, OK, so there was, what else could be a park? Um, Science Park? Si uh, Science Park, I suppose so. Um, uh, edge. Dinner, uh, yeah, dinner so. jacket, Harrington jacket. Oh, good, yes. Uh, donkey, donkey jacket. Donkey jacket. Donkey jacket. And, um, so could be, oh, that would be another kind of... Opera jacket. Uh, uh, is there a, Yeah, OK, yeah, great. Um, so I'll just try a few of these whilst we're uh, looking Cycle. through. Um, and there's um, so combusted uh, carob. Uh, Nehru is a kind of jacket. Nehru is a kind of jacket. That's okay, what's going to be Safari Harrington, did you say? Okay. Uh, is that, it key? Donkey. Okay, we seem to have, okay, seem um, to have six. We seem to have so six, but I, I maybe don't put Safari. Yeah, that's. Oh, yes. There we go. Right. Okay. okay, so. Um, so then so, amusement park, caravan uh, park. Uh, yeah, caravan uh, oh, amusement country park. park. Country park. Yeah, that's a Safari park. park. Uh, no, okay. Um, I think those are quite likely. Um, um, I don't know what those is. Could that be the? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so that's. Uh, Okay. Oh, hang on. So, so far, it's Safari and Edge. They're, they're web browsers. <gasps> Safari, Edge, Chrome, and Opera. Opera. Okay. So, torch. Uh, Rose. Tor Rose could be. Yeah. Um, okay. So uh, I've already done that one. Be ridiculous. Um, okay. So combusted uh, cabbage. Um, so science. Um, br uh, Thirty no. seconds. Yes, absolutely. So Safari, Edge, Chrome. Oh, I'm so convinced um, about those, but it's a, oh, but no, no, we've already got that. We've already tried that, haven't we? Okay. Torch. So, so uh, Torch Wood. <laughs> uh, yes, uh, Opera. Um, torch Singer, Opera Singer. Oh yeah. Uh, um, country Singer. Country Singer. Ten yes. Seconds. And um, um, uh, Bros Singer. Jet Bros. That'd be ridiculous. Uh, 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 can I not take a look at this? No, 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 that's it. The else. time is up. <laughs> and the wall's frozen, but you have found a group. Can you tell me the connection? Nehru, Donkey, Harrington, Dinner. Uh, kinds of jacket. Kinds of jacket. And you could still get points for the connections of the groups you didn't find, so let's resolve the wall. There you go, that's how it should look. Cabbage, combusted, amusement, bros. Uh, uh, Oh, oh, hang on, is there... Uh, no, I can't give you uh, this no, one. No, you and if you don't see it, you don't see it. Mm -hmm. Yes. Hidden within the word cabbage is ABBA. 
Oh. Busted in combusted, oh. muse in amusement, yeah. and bros, which is a sort of yeah. porridge, bros. Pop groups and bands are hidden yeah. inside those words. Yes. What about the next group? Caravan, <laughs> science, safari, country. Uh, types of park. Those are the parks. <laughs> you can have a science park. It's not a fun thing. <laughs> what is it in a way? It's an area of scientific research. Apologies. Science park. And that last group, Chrome Torch Opera Edge. Uh, are they web browsers? Those are the web browsers. Well done. So a point for the group you found and three for the connections. That's a total of four. Let's have a look at the scores as we enter the final round. The cousins have eight points. The networkers have 12. So after a very difficult pair of walls, the contest will be decided in the missing vowels round, where we take the vowels out of well-known names, phrases and sayings, and the teams must tell me what the disguised clues are. Fingers on buzzers, teams. The first group are all electoral systems. Cousins. First past the post. Correct. Don't know this one. It's alternative vote. Next clue. Networkers. Additional member system. Correct. Networkers. Single transferable vote. Correct. Next category. Clichéd depictions of Victorian London. Networkers. Urchins. Correct. Cousins. Peelers. Correct. Networkers. Pea Supers. Well done. Networkers. Gas lamps. Yes, it is. Next category, they're all twins. Networkers. Robin and Morris Gibb. Yes, it is. Cousins. Mary Kate and Ashley Olsen. Correct. Cousins. Jackie. Of course. Cousins. Danny DeVito and Arnold Schwarzenegger. Well done. <laughs> Next category, they're measures of volume. But we're not going to play the next category because the bell has gone for the end of the quiz and looking at the final scores. The Cousins finish with 13 points, but the networkers have 18 and are the winners. Very well done. You are through to round two. Cousins, we have a higher scoring second place finisher system, which you may be in, although you've had a slightly unlucky night. It remains to be seen. Thanks all of you for playing. Thank you for watching. We're done for the night. I'm off for a cup of tea and some crystal meth. Only joking, I've had quite enough tea for one day. Goodbye. Hello again. Yes, like the fearsome Scott Macbeth, we are back from the dead to fight another day. Sorry? Doesn't he? Well, then what happens in the sequel? <laughs> yes, there is. Oh, well, that's a ridiculous waste of a potentially lucrative... Fine, 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 fine. fine. Let's meet the teams. On my right, Frank Little a semi-retired computer programmer who enjoys orchestral music and once played postal chess against Boris Karloff's brother. David Collison, an IT specialist who enjoys Sudoku puzzles and some light recreational mathematics. And their captain, Harriet Courtney, a retired data analyst with a BSc in Earth Sciences who has lived as a Viking, a Saxon and a Roman. United by a fondness for forums, they are the networkers, what are your team's strengths? What are your best subjects? We've all got different strengths, I think, hopefully.
Let's find out. Different strengths are very much what you need for this quiz. We'll see. Your opponents tonight are, on my left, Michael Cannon, a French and history graduate who hosted Angela Lansbury's 90th birthday party, which was not attended by Angela Lansbury. He is the cousin of Emma Reeves, a writer and English graduate with an MA in creative writing from the University of East Anglia, who is the cousin of their captain, David Whitley, an author and classically trained bass baritone who can recite the opening of the Canterbury Tales in 14th century English. United by DNA, they are the cousins. David, what are your team's strengths? Well, we think we're doing all right on, on music. We've got different eras covered over here, but uh, otherwise I guess we'll find out as the questions go. <laughs> well, you're good at tossing coins. You've won the toss, so you'll be going first. This is round one. I simply want to know what is the connection between four apparently random clues. Please choose an Egyptian hieroglyph. Uh, Eye of Horus, please. The Eye of Horus. What is the connection between these clues? Here's the first. Duck. Something duck. Toilet duck. Next. House. Sitting duck. Sitting duck. Sitting duck. Sitting house. Well, that might be, mightn't it? Oh, I, I, I think maybe one, one more, shall we? Yes. Uh, next. Builder. Um, cow, cowboy builder? No, cowboy duck. Oh, uh, yes, Bob, uh, 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 Shall we have, shall we have uh, yeah, that one? Uh, next. Gabler. 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 Header duck? What? Three seconds. Ibsen. Ibsen. Uh, <laughs> yeah. They, um, they, they're all plays by in Ibsen. The last word the, of the title. Yeah, the, 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 the last, the last <laughs> word of, of, of the title of a play by Ibsen. They are all the last words in the titles of Ibsen plays. Yes, not Gabler. Builder might throw <laughs> you in that direction, but Garbler, Hedda Garbler. What are the other plays? Um, Doll. So, yes, yeah, so there's yeah. a doll's, doll's, doll's house. house. Uh, the Master Builder. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Hedda Garbler. A duck? I Wild don't... Duck. Wild. It is the wild duck, yeah. a play about some people that find a duck, sometimes staged with a live duck. <laughs> nice. I often recommend that this show be staged with a live duck. <laughs> Nobody <laughs> listens to me. Well done for the point. Networkers, your chance to choose. Horn viper, please. The horn viper. These are going to be picture clues. Something connects them. What is it? Here's the first one. Sorry, I didn't mean to do that. Oh. I'm afraid you have buzzed. I must ask for an answer. Oh so how I'm sorry, I was trying to say next and my fingers went wrong. How about something about weather in case it's a lightning bolt and it's uh, yes. maybe something like that? OK, weather. It is not the weather. So I'm going to throw it over to the other team for a possible bonus. I'll show you the other clues, but I can't give you long to consult. No. Uh, so that's... Uh, Oh, blimey. Do you have an answer? Uh, I, I, I don't think we do, do we? No. It is unprecedented, I think, to throw it over after one clue, so uh, you, you would want longer than you've got. What an unfortunate piece of luck. Now, we're looking at the sprinter Johan Blake, nicknamed The Beast, as was Alistair Crowley, who features at Clue 2, the American presidential car, also called The Beast. And who's in that last picture? Is it Mark Labatt, is it? Yes, it is, uh, yes, from The Chase. Uh, erstwhile of Only Connect as well, of course. Known as The Beast, they are all known as The Beast. Unlucky there, Harriet. No bonus point for you then, cousins, but you may choose a question. Uh, twisted Flax, please. The Twisted Flax. What connect to these clues? Here's the first. Bowers. No, OK, so uh, next. Edgar Evans. Ah. Uh, Ooh. No. I don't know, I'm afraid. Oh, God, you've just put the next one. Next. Uh, oh. uh, oops. Uh, yes, probably. Uh, next, please. So it's boats? Oh, it's, 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 was he a box? Uh, um, no, um, oh, this is not going. Um, are, they, are, they, are they all sort of second people who went in polar expeditions? Try it. Three yes. seconds. Um, are they all second-in-commands of polar expeditions? They are not uh. seconds-in-command of polar expeditions, so a bonus chance for you now, networkers. They're all members of Scott's ill-fated ex expedition. 
That's right. In a way, they all came second in an expedition with Seems Captain specific. Scott. <laughs> yes, that ill-fated trip to the Antarctic where they got to the South Pole to discover that Amundsen had beaten them to it and they died in various grisly ways. So you get the bonus point. Very well done. And please choose a question. Lion, please. A lion question. OK, careful on that buzzer. Your first clue <laughs> is coming in now. OK, okay. next. Next. Yes. Is it something about the letters as opposed to the words? Yeah. What is Eggy Birds up? Next. It is. Things that might all be called soldiers. The big, yes. Okay. Give it a go. No, they're not all called soldiers, no. <laughs> What's your answer? <laughs> oh, I'm... <laughs> well, go for soldiers, yes. I can't think of anything else. I'm afraid that's not it. So there's a bonus chance for you, cousins. Uh, another name for them all is French something. That's right, and I heard you muttering it at Clue too, but you veered away. A cafetiere, a French press, it's also known as that. The condom, of course, the French letter. What is eggy bread? Uh, French, French toast. toast. It's French toast, and chips are French fries. Oh, yeah although the Belgians claim that they invented them, actually, so mm -hmm. they should be known as Belgian fries, but not for the purposes of this question. So, well done, cousins. You get the bonus and the choice of question. Uh, two reads, please. Two reads. It's the music question. We've heard your musical confidence. Let's see if it's uh, rightly placed. <laughs> You'll be hearing the clues, and the first one is coming in now. Ten years ago, on a cold, dark night, oh, say, um, there was next. some by with the lock of your hair. She said that you can dance a dream. This is not our area, is it? Should we have the last one just to say? Next. She was afraid to come out of the line. Yes, she was.